All right, um, peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy Bobby Villain. I'm Bobby Villain. I'm back with another episode, episode 26. The results of the great white election, ladies and gentlemen. Results are still being counted. It looked like it's some some funny money amongst the uh, the counting of the uh, votes. In my opinion, um, Trump was definitely winning in a couple of states, states, and then all of a sudden it flip flop. Um, this is not a, a bias opinion. This is just me looking and being very observant. Uh, what's going on? Nevada, Nevada's about to milk this shit for all it's worth. I see that. Uh, Arizona had to be recalled, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I guess they got to go back and do some recounting in Arizona. And I think they about to do the same thing in Michigan. Because Trump was leading a million votes. And then next thing you know, though, that, that, that margin closed. Uh, considerably in like an hour or something like that. It, that's um, it was unbelievable on what you were seeing. The the, the rigging of the election was not, was transparent to say the least. Um, it was transparent. It was very 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 transparent. Um, and there's a there's a lot of shit going. On. Um, they're finding they're finding they. They're finding ballots in Arizona, stolen ballots that were buried up under a rock that were that were supposed to be counted for Trump. Um, dead people all of a sudden is registered to vote and they voted for Joe Biden. Ooh, it's a lot. 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 Um. I think Nevada was called for Biden, but then they had to renege it. Um, I think the same thing was for Arizona. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a bit. It's a quite a quite a bit of stuff out there. Um, I knew I knew the election was rigged when Texas was turning blue real real early, real early. I'm like the fuck. I like, I know, I know it was a lot of people that moved to Texas from California. I know, I know it's a lot. But for Texas to turn blue that early, funny money, man. It's funny money. Ballots are being thrown away. They got caught on camera. It's whew, shit. It's a, it's a bro, bro. But this is. This is the so-called country we call home. The U.S. is documented for interfering in other outside elections, foreign elections. They're documented for 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 uh, rigging their own elections. And I keep telling people this: my my job is to call out the hypocrisy amongst both, because again. I've said this before, both parties are part of the same entity. It's like having a coin. You have a quarter. You got heads, you got tails. The Democratic Party is heads. The Republican Party is tails. They're the same entity, just two different sides that coincide with each other. They work together for the most part. This shit right here. This shit right here, man. They want you to think it's some type of split between the two parties, and it's not. Both these parties work together. Both these parties work together. And I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna say it. By me 
paying attention these four years and understanding what I've been looking at when it comes to politics, not only did the Democratic Party hate it, not only they hated Trump, the Democratic Party, but some of some of uh, so-called Trump's uh, constituents, they did not like Trump either. You want to know why they didn't like him? Because Trump wasn't even a Republican. Trump was really a Democratic businessman. Trump was a independent. He was part of the independent party. He was part of the third party. He still have he he was going to run for run as a Democrat. But they already had all their candidates when he ran when he was uh, first running in 2016. They already had Crooked Hillary. They already had uh Bernie Sanders, which they stole the DNC candidacy from because I think it was either Nevada or it was Colorado that was for Bernie and then all of a sudden it switched to Hillary and that's how Hillary got the nod in 2016. This is why when people say, oh, the, the, the election wasn't rigged. No, if they, if the Democratic Party can rig their own election, what makes you think they won't rig the, the presidential election? Ask a normie that. Ask a normie that. Do you feel like Bernie Sanders was fucked out of the the, the Democratic uh, candidacy? And if they say yes, then how can you deny the fact that this that this election was rigged? You can't. But Trump Trump is not even a Republican. He was an independent candidate that ran up under the moniker of a Republican and beat out all of the Republican candidates. Because all of those Republican candidates were weak to begin with. Trump was not supposed to be a part of the picture. It was supposed to be crooked Hillary. Hillary was supposed to be in office. Hillary was supposed to do another four years. They was gonna put up a cannon uh, founder against fucking Hillary. This this uh, this election, they was gonna put up. They was gonna put up somebody that was gonna get blown out the water against Hillary. In my opinion, that's just my theory. You know, but Trump, Trump's not even a Republican. That's why. That's why I say, like, even the Republican, even the Republicans was against Trump. Even the Republicans was against Trump. And a lot of people would say, well, like, he was racist. I mean, like, shit, what? Y'all gonna replace the racist for a racist? That don't make any sense. But, I mean, you know, that's y'all, that's y'all savior. Biden was supposed to be labeled as y'all savior. Biden is gonna be, uh, within the next year or two, I'm gonna keep saying it, he's gonna come up sick. Or he's gonna be ill-equipped to keep uh, to keep uh, the president moniker over his name, and then they gonna switch over to Kamala. Kamala's gonna run for 20, uh, 2024, and Kamala, whoever Kamala go against, it might be a Kamala show for the for the four years after this next four years. Republicans didn't want that. Republicans don't want Trump in office to begin with. Republicans don't even want the black vote. This is the first time in a long ass time where you had an actual Republican corral the black vote the way Trump did. Regardless of them using the propaganda to paint him as a racist. You can't say that it's not true. Because I think this election... The black vote actually, the black vote up under Trump actually doubled, I think. I think majority of them was black men. I think majority of them was black men. Now, now, if, if it comes out to a tie, it's 
gonna go to the house. All right, it's gonna go to the house. The house is gonna have to count the elect the electoral votes. I think, if I'm not wrong. And the house right now is still controlled by the Republicans. That's if. That's if um, the recount in what I think, no Nevada's still counting. They I think they're still counting in Arizona, because I know they recalled Arizona. They had to recall Arizona because they gave it to Biden too early. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was the same thing with Nevada. I think they got to recount Wisconsin. Michigan is funny money because they had a bunch of dead people vote for 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 Joe Biden. And you can go look. The, the paper trail is gonna start coming out. Trump has Pennsylvania in the bag. They won't call Pennsylvania. Trump has North Carolina in the bag. They won't call North Carolina. Trump has Georgia in the bag. They won't call Georgia. And I think it's one more state. If I'm not mistaken, I got to go back and I got to look at the map. Oh, Alaska. Alaska is supposed to be going for Trump, but they won't call Alaska. All of the states that I mentioned that they won't call, Trump has a considerable margin. He's leading by a considerable margin. Like, it's very convincing that that state is going to go for Trump. They just won't call it. That's why I keep saying, like, yo, like, the jig is up. They're rigging the election. Y'all have to be able to see this shit. Now, let's say the shit was on the other foot. Trump got 240 some odd electoral votes. Biden looks like Biden's about to lose. And everybody's talking about the election is rigged. This is going on. That is going on. It will be fucking chaos right now. It will be chaos. That's why I keep saying a lot of the, a lot of these normies are hypocritical. They're, they're, they're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. Because if the shit was on the other foot, they'll be they'll be damn near rioting right now. They'll be mad as hell. They'll be mad as hell. But that's the, that's the corporation we reside in. It's not a country no more. It's a corporation, bro. It's a corporation. They're, they're, they're going to do what's best for the corporation. They're trying to get us into globalism. They want us to be globalists. They want us to be a socialist government. And socialism is not going to cut out for us. I'm trying to tell you, socialism do not work on a broad scale. It do not work. It do not work on a broad scale. And to rely on a Democrat to run this country again, look at democratically ran states. All of them motherfuckers are ran into the ground every time. Every time. High crime rates. High poverty level. Like it's a, it's it's there. It's there. But I mean, you know, I'm just here to call the spade a spade, man. That's that's all I'm here to do. Point out the hypocrisy. That's all I'm here to do. That's all I'm here to do. A lot of people will say, well, you don't do that to, you don't do that with Trump. Shit. The most I can say is Trump said some racist shit. And he bombed Syria. But every every president we have always fucking bombed Syria because every fucking every dictator that we put into Syria to swip to swap out for another one with a cold uh, when we overthrow their government for the umpteenth time, they always switch up on us. But besides that, that's my time. Thank you for tapping into the Fake Quote Podcast. I truly appreciate everybody that's been listening and sharing my content. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, y'all.